Hello and what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I had a very interesting day and it was more likely that I was happy than it was sad. However, I feel like crying and I'm gonna drag you all with me today. So what we are actually going to do is we are going to look into Honkai, one of the videos that's going to be about Himiko. So, of course, we all know which one it is. Uh, so let's get into it, actually. Let's find it real quick. And we do have it, the final lesson. Now, before anybody goes into it, for people who didn't watch it, though I doubt if you watch me that you didn't watch it, uh, it's gonna be very sad. It's gonna have very major spoilers and uh, You're gonna cry a river so That being said, let's hop into it. Let's cry together. Oh boy Okay, so before I actually start it, what, why and how did we end up here? Uh, I'm going to do a quick recap. So what happened actually is Fuhua, my waifu, sadly, uh, kidnapped Kiana and took her to Otto. What Otto did was uh, he basically he irritated the Hersher inside of her and inside of Kiana and he got the Hersher out, the Hersher of the Void. And the Hersher of the Void, uh, once it woke up, it was called, it called Benares. Benares is the very big dragon that after that becomes uh, the dragon for May. But that's a whole nother story. Uh, so yeah, he ends up, uh, her awakening her uh, becomes a threat to humanity. Now what Otto knows is uh, he wants to wake up the Hersher through the power of love. Uh, I didn't know that he turned into one of those stupid Care Bears, but I guess, who knows. Uh, regardless, he did that and he was willing to either sacrifice Teresa, Teresa being kind of Kiana's aunt, and she loved Cecilia a lot, Cecilia is Kiana's mother, or Himiko. Either way, he was willing to sacrifice it just to get Hersher out of Kiana, uh, a tamed Hersher technically. So what <sighs> Fuhua tried to correct her mistake and that ended up getting her killed and her sentience ended up showing Himiko the way that the battle suit of the last era was made. So the battle suit Vermilion Knight that was made by Dr. May from the last era ended up being for Himiko and then Himiko ends up with a serum. That serum is actually the kind of serum that tames a Hersher. So it can it kind of nullifies the Honkai in somebody. It's very concentrated and it could take away almost a Hersher. So that was given for Himiko and Himiko here is being sacrificed. So let's get down into it.
ると思った<笑>待ってたわよ死を迎える準備は整った<笑>力の鍵ぶっ払うのに。So, if nobody knows, or if you have noticed the lines on Himiko's face, she's not very compatible with Honkai. Even though she knew that, she still went through and got the battle suit. The battle suit is infused with Honkai. So it was seeping into her body, and her artificial stigma is seeping into her body. And she knew anyway she was gonna die, so she rather sacrificed herself than have died in the battle just from Honkai corruption. Though that battle suit might actually be the trigger because that battle suit contains the core of the Hersher of Fire and that's why everybody knows that oh she's coming back as the Hersher of Fire I can't I can't give me a moment okay I'm back let's continue
trying to actually collect myself. Why did I decide that I want to do this again? <clears throat> okay. Uh, now that I've watched it, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of... Um, Himiko is not gonna return as Himiko. Now hear me out. <sighs> okay. So we noticed that Fuhua, once she lost, um, once her soul and body separated, the will of Honkai was uh, possessing her body and brought a new, a whole new soul, a soul of a whole new Hersher inside of her. Um, with all of Fuhua's memories because they were all in her body. So, I think Himiko is dead. But the Hersher of last era, exactly the Hersher of the last era, is coming back. So, the old Himiko of the last era, she is gonna come back and she is gonna um, recognize Fuhua. And that's how things are going to go from now on. Knowing Mihoyo is a complete sadist and really likes to watch us suffer. I think this is how it's going to go. So the, Hor the Hersher core is actually going to reactivate. And our Himiko no longer exists. But the last era Hersher is coming back and is taking over Himiko's body through the battle suit and the reason why they left Fuhua alive is because she's gonna play a role in the future and um, she's gonna be actually the reason why the old Hersher will be tamed which is gonna open a whole Pandora's box honestly because if that happens it seems like it's gonna open that um, idea of maybe last era were wrong and even last era's Hershers are actually tameable and actually uh, they are good at heart. Not well, I guess you could say good at heart, I think. But regardless, this, I feel like this is gonna be what's gonna happen. I know it's all predictions and one more thing now that I watched uh, I thought that it was in the sea of quanta there's a big misunderstanding that I see it's not in the sea of quanta it was in a whole another place the Hersher of void is called the Hersher of void because it can transfer things into a whole nother void so I know it's it's supposed to be a honkai video but hear me out what if Genshin Impact is like everything is happening in a whole nother void? That fall sky thingy? What if it's in an actually a whole nother void that their Hersher, the one that we saw at the very beginning, <laughs> made up? And in reality, what Lumin uh, saw, that's gonna, you know, one of those short videos, uh, the one that Lumin saw, that happens 500 years ago is actually just one of the voids one of the um, I don't know how to say it but uh, one of the predictions or like visions I guess that she saw and 
she knew it was going to happen again basically so it's it's uh far away from canaria it doesn't have anything to do with canaria to begin with that's what i'm saying i'm going for something that is totally totally different so basically canaria lumi and the order the abyss order all separate things like lumi and the abyss order together but then you have uh canaria is alone dragon spine is alone so all of those are parts that plays a role into a bigger story but they're all separate parts on their own lumin has nothing to do with canaria canaria just that's why um they hate the abyss and kaya is just using the abyss to get revenge on monstad because venti has done something or he hasn't done something about the problem regardless uh that's all i've got for you guys today make sure you tell me what you think i really 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 would love to see uh and hear what you guys think uh lore wise prediction wise and tell me what would you like to see again so and don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and i guess i'll see you in another video